All right, and this is going to be the second video, the second project, <clears throat> and I'm going to stop short of just saying a few sentences, really. It's in respect to my father. I will solve this issue immediately. It's continuation of the video I have already posted. Title one is how they murder. How they murder. I did this twice. These are the two issues for me imminent. One is my health. Another one is my father's health. Let's finish this. In 2019, I got a tip uh, from, I have no idea who the fuck, police officer, whatever it was, uh, he, who claimed me Ljubljana. Ljubljana wants it like this. Okay. I have in detail explained everything. I explained the issue. I video recorded here, visit to father video here, where I point out the issue of creating both men inside of the room of my father. Uh, in the room 203, both men. Uh, therefore, my father that you see here and his. Bill, 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 yeah. Out of the two, it appears to me that they are trying to create, not that it appears to me, it, be, it became evident because this guy was mobile. He had an accident. He suffered an accident. Uh, Accident, strangely enough, repeated from MK Ultra. He suffered two accidents. He had a broken, uh, I think, elbow, and he hit his head. The identical, exactly identical accidents, incidents from the past he had exactly this kind of incident he suffered already in the past do you understand what i'm talking to you about this man was involved in mk ultra since 1995 and this is the man who suffered during mk ultra already elbow injury as well as the injury to his head he fell down so what we are doing is we are having a police who is rewriting a medical record of this individual with an incident which already have taken place already before, prior to the incidents which just not too long ago have taken place. This is a roommate from my father. This roommate from my father was highly mobile. He was agile. He could walk back and forth. He moved a lot. He no longer is. He's now bedridden. He doesn't get any kind of prescribed, literally, by physicians. I don't say healthcare treatment, but physical, uh, physical therapy. He doesn't get any. He is more and more closer to vegetation status. His physical is deteriorating quickly as he's not going anywhere, he's not doing, he's not getting any kind of exercise, anything like this. And so the tip of my father's health physical totally deteriorated. Uh, he is sedated uh, greatly uh, and more than anything he was, was uh, dehydrated I think they have done something to him so he was uh, non-cooperative uh, they did that kind of stuff for which they insisted me also it would be just uh, they tried to present they tried to present this whole thing to me as a play is something that 
they are in agreement with one another. Therefore, also, that my father is in agreement with them in respect to that stuff. Uh, they insisted to me, in fact, that it will be my only chance, even. to save myself due to domestic violence accusations against me committed by my father in 2013, based on which I was thrown into a psychiatric hospital to point out uh, that my father's behavior this is definitely is my father's behavior during the visits was unacceptable. He was going literally for the government's sake. In his own, he was digging his own grave. He he was all the way. He went all the way. He was certain that this was the only way for him out. So he followed the instructions. which once I started to complain about his what do you want to say this ways uh, and or more than anything what I was taught to accent uh, on how he was physically restrained in a hospital and inside of the uh, home for elderly people that basically they instructed me to complain about that stuff uh, to record all the stuff they have written about how the father was giving them a hard time uh, would not cooperate with them would uh, cause them trouble and so on so they had to use a restraint and stuff like this uh, was dignifying me how I uh, was always uh, Example in me, how I was always, never always, uh, I should say, participated, cooperated on whatever issue, never gave anybody any kind of resistance, anything like this, hard time, even that I was completely innocently, uh, wrongfully accused of the stuff I had nothing to do after 23 years, even, of MK of torture. So they did this. So they could start to sedate him. It was just a, a necessary step. Uh, something that had to be done. I don't regret it. Uh, and it produced a factor of reality to my father who blindly believed that the state is on his side, that they are protecting him, that everything, as long as he's going to follow them, their instruction for the cost of life, everything is going to be okay. He did so because they hospitalized him, they threw him inside of the home for elderly people already on several occasions, and they were playing with him like this. He got used to, in other words, of state violence. Uh... They were using him as a dummy for experimentation. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch practiced on him, psychiatry, uh, and with police, psychiatrists were using him for a brainwash, basically to drive me insane with issues pertaining to the father, to the elderly father, whom I was desperately trying to help already at home. And he would not cooperate absolutely on any issue. He would give me a hard time. So it was actually a good stuff because it became out, out of it. It became evident that once I no longer to, wanted to visit him, uh, once I crossed him out by pointing out that his, his attitude is unacceptable and so on, state accelerated exactly what state have stated me will do. In other words, Nurse Yanko insisted me that if you're not going to visit him anymore, if you will accuse him of being violent, uh, 
the only thing I am going to do is I am going to do was approved by the psychiatrist obviously on behalf of a general physician uh, basically to sedate him to put him into completely defenseless mode uh, so that he would rather sleep uh, without any kind of uh, physical exercise recreativity uh, physical therapy if you like and it is what extended further into a dehydration basically he wouldn't get based on my observation clearly became evident that also according to MK Ultra, when they stated me when you're not going to see that machine for the sucking the uh, saliva out of his mouth you will know that he's dehydrated that he doesn't get to drink enough so all these factors they started to take toll on him and uh, consequently he found himself more and more uh, in a vegetation state the same as to what his roommate is now they go back to a tip which was given to, by the police officer and it was not only one person it was more people that gave me this kind of tip they repeated to me what they will do to father cited Ljubljana uh, is use a younger man uh, who was involved in MK Ultra, whom I have also very well identified, him and his family, a roommate, uh, whom also they already have used before, therefore on other occasions, inside of the same room of my father, whenever my father was hospitalized. This man was not always present whenever my father was hospitalized. My father was hospitalized at least on the three occasions they had me drugged up during MTR so when father was already in the bed. They had him and they were playing with him. Uh, but on some occasions, this man also was present. And on some occasions, they claimed it was my father in there in the bed and I don't think it was. It was also occasions like this. Um, using, if you go back to tip from 2019 about Ljubljana, using a much younger man who would be in fact uh, in a much better physical state uh, to quickly deteriorate his health in other words terminate him, the scenario was to destroy Mr. Koletic completely, either to write death certificate for him or actually have him die. Simple as this. And this is the video also I am using to prevent something from happening to Mr. Koletic. Mr. Koletic is brother There was an agreement sometimes in which I did not understood what the hell they were talking to me about between these two brothers and myself. I was brought in there, drugged up, that the brother, Mr. Koletic, who is a roommate of my father, would go. And it was a horrible stuff because his brother and he alone suggested that he would die. And that uh, he would, uh, his brother stated to me that he would do something like this for me. In other words, to save the father because they're going to do to father stuff like this. I don't want Mr. Koletic to die. I don't want Mr. Koletic is already in a state of the vegetation. Mr. Koletic is a good man. I don't need this from him. Uh, my goal is to rehabilitate him, to help him out, to have something out of the life. He went through a lot of stuff, and I understand it's very difficult due to a variety of reasons for him. 
But the difficulty is, in my opinion, in my view, are coming foremost because he's not properly assisted. He's not assisted the way he should be. And that makes it difficult for him probably to even cope with a life for whom it wouldn't. After all, if you have to, uh, if you're not properly taken care of <laughs> for every person, every person looks for its way out. So his health is quickly deteriorating per Slovenian state so they could orchestrate, in, in other words, demonstrate that a coming death of my father is just a natural thing. When I recall the physicians from the Home for Elderly People, uh, including with the head physician, all the physicians, it was just a matter of statistics. Uh, they talk six months, six months of this tube, yeah, and then it's already normal, then it's already normal. It's just a statistic. That's how they talk to me. So they are also using this man through placing him into a vegetation state, trying to deteriorate his health as fast as possible to portray the death of my father as natural as possible. This is attempted murder we are talking about. Thanks for watching this video. Today is May, actually June 4, 2023, and it's right now 11.50. I am going to take a date and time, that's right. So this is a part two, a visit to father on June 2nd, 2023, where conditions, according to my views, are catastrophic. They are catastrophic. By the way, the man whom I have also met the other day, when leaving the facility, is the man that somewhat looks like Mr. Stergar. And it's also the man who knows Mr. Stergar. Mr. Stergar is a psychiatrist. I think he's from Ljubljana. And based on the gentleman I have spoken with, we probably uh, were referring to the exactly same person. This man whom I have also identified is a slim, taller man. I think... 185, 190 or something like that. And I think Mr. Stagard is but just about 190, also a slim, dynamic. Um, and I would say just about my age, like 50 or something like this. He's got a sister also, uh, highly also educated uh, father and mother. I, I'm not even sure. Maybe father is even, I'm thinking about this stuff, maybe even a journalist or something like this. They lived they used to live in a high-rise in Ljubljana and that kind of stuff. Because I still haven't met Mr. Stergar, a psychiatrist. I'm saying this kind of stuff. But I know already the people who know him, and I have identified those people. So this, this circle of combination is becoming very, very narrow. With my pointing out exactly the plan for which I was tipped on how they will read my father. It's, and this isn't about my father only. It's, it's also about Mr. Koletic. Uh, it, it's not okay. For me, this stuff is not okay. Hey, for me, of course, it's not okay. For me, everybody that sacrificed himself or herself to meet me, to help me out, to do something about it, uh, it's not okay that he is suffering a bad fate. Because this shit isn't happening because of me. This shit is happening because of certain people who decided that whatever bad in this world happens, the people even, not only to myself, uh, is going to happen somehow because of me. And once I'm gone, the world is just going to be beautiful. Everything is going to go back to what they portray to us as normal. You know, even if it's a million people dead in the United States of America every year, homeless, whatever the fuck it is, it's all normal. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I said I'm going to demonstrate the date and time, and then we are gone. We have to log this. It's very important due to nature of the video itself. Yeah. So, just as I stated to you.